Dallas Eaglewood representatives, please, 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 these questions about um, construction and all that, you can have access to these folks and get immediate answers to your questions. Um, the city of Eaglewood is partnering in these meetings, so they're there. Um, you just need to know where to be and when to be there. This was a great opportunity for the library in partnership with the city of Eaglewood. Um, Mr. Hamilton is out here representing the Congresswoman's office, the supervisor. They're all at these meetings. So even with residents, I feel bad because y'all aren't there, and I'm like, yeah, they, they have something to say. Yeah, so but it's the beginning of a new day. We're new all day. here together now. Yeah. And, and like I said, it's the beginning of a, I mean, this is just the beginning. Even though the train is left, we're here now, and we can still effectuate change. We can still determine what we want to see in our city. That's why we're here. That's why we want to listen to what your input is. We're going to show you a preliminary concept plan that came out of community input, sort of get your input here, and then there'll be presentations before the planning commission, there'll be planning, there'll be presentations before the city council. There's going to be many, many more meetings to come. And it's all the same with artist commission. If you want to attend the meetings that she is co-chairing, and I tell you they are wonderful, I don't get to everyone, and I'm sorry, Arnie, <laughs> but with your permission, if yeah. you want to be included in that and notified, give her your email address yeah. before you leave today. She can handle it. And we'll get a sign-in sign -in sheet with everybody's information so that we can make sure you get the meeting invites for the, the Community Leadership Council as well as when the, um, this presentation goes before the Planning Commission and the City Council. So how many people here want to see change in downtown Inglewood? Just raise your hand. Call out some of the things that you want to see downtown. Save the box. <laughs> coffee shops. Get box, coffee shops, cycling, <coughs> cycling infrastructure. Massage and housing. Sustainable economic housing, yeah. infrastructure, yeah. 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 the street straightened, street straightened, affordable, pedestrian access, pedestrian access. definitely for pedestrians. Store, not a uniform shop. Okay. Small women so we can go spend our significant other money, right? Small, small one of a kind restaurants and coffee shops and things. So along miles downtown, that will feel like a walk small lines for rare places. How do they die out of So these, do you believe in your heart of heart that this can be achieved with the rail line coming? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. That's our desire. That's yes. our belief. And so if you build it, they will come. You know, if they come, we well, have to build it. Well, Susie, based on well, your question, we well, we need to create a destination. We need to make Eaglewood Market Street the yes. 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 destination. Yes. So we need a sense of place. Right. And that's something that transit does. Yeah. If you look around our region, if you look at the examples that Alex gave, Mission Meridian, or the, the Del Lamo Station, these are community sense of places. They have residential, they have coffee shops, they have the street comedy, the streetscape, all of those things <coughs> can be here in Inglewood. They will be here in Inglewood. You know why? Because we're here, we're sitting here, we're talking, we're interested and we're invested, and there are tools that we can use in the city, in the community, and metro uses to help to implement that. And that's what we're here to show you right now is just a preliminary concept plan. But when we've I done it before, I wasn't here though. Oh, I was getting here. The, the charrette was 20 years ago. And we sat, all of us sat at Holy Faith and bashed out our vision for downtown Inglewood. And it went into the whole <laughs> disappeared. <laughs> and we got, and we got a winding well, market <laughs> and that's all we got. Okay. And that's when we started December and January, and that's what they're working on. That, that is it. That, thank you for that. I, I, I'll tell you, maybe I'll have to find that vault because I haven't found it yet. Again, the same question. But, it, but I think it's in a different context because the rail line what is, is real. Right. This is very real. And this will change our community One whether way or another. we want to or, or not. Yeah. And that's the difference between 20 years ago, just yeah. having a developer coming here, we understand it's the D3 site and it's been vacant for 20 years. I've been here five years, I've heard all about it. <laughs> but I know that with this train station coming into our community, it's going to be a change. And transit oriented development is going to occur. Yes, sir. I, I would love to see the next <laughs>
And I would love to be on the sign-in sheet. And I would like to know who my representative is and where the meetings are. And I would like to make sure that the community has input. Yes. So if there's a sign-in sheet. Yes, uh, Joel, Joel is getting that for you right now. He's getting a piece of paper and a pad. So let me just show this to you very quickly. But it's good to see that everyone is passionate about this. Do you see that? Well, some of the questions that I asked what you wanted to see downtown. Darling, please use the mic. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Thank you. The questions that I asked about what do you want to see downtown was similar questions that we asked in the three workshops that we had about developing a plan of a concept plan for the Florence of Bray Station. These meetings were held in December on the 5th and the 15th, as well as in January 25th. Some of you attended those meetings. We reached out to community leader stakeholders. We included the information in our water bills that reached 15,000 uh, units or utility users. And we really used our website as well as other means to get the information out. What came out of, what you're gonna see now is really just a preview of that plan. This will be presented before both the Planning Commission and the City Council to get their input and we'll move forward after that process which Linda Tatum, our Acting Economic and Community Development Director, will talk about the next steps in our strategy in order to create a transit overlay district that will include both the Florence West and the Florence and Bird Station areas. So out of this plan, there were, the community's vision was break, broken down into really six areas. There's a circula circulation and mobility element, a parking strategy, building topographies, talking about do you want to see single, well you wouldn't see single, but townhomes, two-story townhomes, home, excuse me, three-story townhomes, higher density buildings, five to six stories high, and then what kind of streetscape environment do you want to see? There, do you want traffic calming on, on Florence, more trees, medians, <coughs> uh, wider sidewalks, wider, uh, excuse me, and then also crossing, uh, how are the crosswalks to be configured? And then there's the regulatory changes, the changes to our zoning, our zoning, our general plan, and our street, excuse me, our design team. So I'll just briefly, very quickly, go over elements of, of those various different components of the plan that I just discussed with you. So circulation and mobility. With the transit stop being in the city, we want to, as someone said, they want to see cyclists in downtown Inglewood. We want to be able to move them. So it talks about adding bike lanes or adding wider sidewalks where people feel safe enough to walk. We all know and have d driven down Florence, you know how fast the traffic is down there. Mm -hmm. And if you cross the street, Good luck. <laughs> That's something that we want to avoid when a transit stop is in is right adjacent to Florence and uh, excuse me, right adjacent to Market Street and going into Locust as well. There's also a parking strategy element. Let's just think about Santa Monica for a minute. There are a lot of parking structures in Santa Monica, but they're not exactly on the promenade. Why? Well, they want people to get out of their cars and to walk to the promenade. What happens when you walk? You start seeing shops, you start stopping, you shop, and you recognize things you might not have seen before. That's the same concept that we want here in the city of Inglewood. We want to see, if, if I can get up here for a moment, just point out the parking structures and run back down here. <laughs> They're parking structures, and you probably can't see them very well, in the middle, they're, they're sort of enclosed in the transit-oriented development. And that's done on purpose to get people out of their car and circulating through the transit station area as well as the downtown. Well, for Metro, for Metro's um, parking spots, I believe that they're, they're free at this point in time, right? Yes. Don't know. Don't know. All right. We'll find an answer to that. Yeah, so, 
parking. Yes. Yeah, parking. 